Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's your boy Psyduck D, extra stoic, unsure of what to do with his life and its current state of affairs. So, I'm gonna say really big words and pretend I know what I'm talking about for a few minutes on a microphone. Because there's nothing better to do with my life currently. I have a question for you. What do you think you're doing with your life? Let's go on a bit deep. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing anymore. I'm so completely out of it. And I'm, I'm, I'm feeling more and more like everyone's in that same boat. You, me, my roommate, this fan. Uh, it's a good fan. I don't know what I'm doing anymore, and I think that it's bringing me a little bit closer to insanity, because when, when you're young, when, when you're when you're one of those there kiddos, you know, that we all were at some point, you have a lot of creativity and passion, and you have a lot of strong feelings of motivation that you're going to be something great, that you're going to do something. And then you finish school and you're like, wow, that was pretty hard. And maybe you can go to college. I went to college. Or you pick up a trade or you go straight to work because you're just kind of done at that point. You're feeling pretty done with school and you're like, all right, it's time for the next steps. It's time to make it big in my life. Or you do what I did, <laughs> where you kind of pursue it. And then you fuck it all up. Uh, YouTube doesn't like the F word. You really screw it up. Uh, you, you really frick it up. In the words of my Sonic fan. Or whatever the fuck his name is. Oh, whatever. Alright. Point is. You, you go through it. You're starting finally to move a little bit forward with your life. Whatever decision you make. You go to your job and maybe you'll progress. And... Maybe you'll be something great. Maybe you'll become a manager of that area. Maybe you love your job. Maybe you absolutely adore going in every day, whether it's an entry level position and just the talking gets you through it. Or maybe it's really good pay and despite, you know, maybe it being a bit boring or a bit monotonous, the pay is enough to make you a workaholic. Uh, or maybe you end up like me where uh, you lose a lot of what made you you in the process of trying to survive. You lose that spark of creativity. You lose uh, that motivation to be something great. And you settle for a sales associate position at an entry level job because you don't see yourself getting any further. I'm currently dealing with that. Clearly. I wouldn't be bitching about it if I wasn't. And I'm wondering... How do you get out of that? At what point do you sit there and you go, Man, this is really awful. Man, I really need to do something else. Because I've had these thoughts, you know? And uh, at this point, you get an, a nice motivational speech from a YouTube video, or maybe uh, you decide it's all over. I think I'll just give up on this whole concept of getting further in life. Maybe I'm as far as I can get. Or maybe, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you keep on pushing that same envelope and you go. I'll do better than this sales associate position. I'll get higher in this company and then I can move forward with my life quicker and quicker. This is of course talking about myself now. I'm not, I'm not hypothetically bringing you in anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm going to start complaining now. I don't know how to move forward creatively anymore. Uh, people who know me personally will understand that I used to love to write. Uh, a lot of fucking edgy, sad boys like myself love to write. 
Uh, I used to do poetry. Obviously, I'm a fucking depressed emo bastard. Not really. Um, I used to write stories. Uh, I used to have a lot of ideas and consistent uh, will and want to create. A lot of parody. Uh, dabbled in fan fiction. Uh, but that was more, you know, formative years. We don't talk about those. Uh, mm -mm. Um, but I think at some point I got sick of writing because it felt pointless so I decided to pursue something which was a bit more popular you know I pursued art and I tried uh, my hand at painting I've tried drawing I've sewed before I, I was creating uh, teddy bears and stuff and in general I feel like those creative outlets were really great for the few months that I was into them. And now, that passion to <laughs> attempt to creatively pursue something is dead. What the fuck do I do at that point? Do I continue working at a shitty job and trying nothing new? Uh, perhaps making enough money to go back to college and pursue something which may pay considerably well like law or computer science or being a doctor uh, tearing myself apart for the sake of money and then <laughs> hating myself ultimately or do I keep pursuing these creative endeavors which I have so little passion and no motivation to go into anymore or do I keep searching for new creative endeavors until something clicks, till something makes me go Aha! Me, the big boy, I am good at this. Uh, I can make rock sculptures out of condoms or something. Some, some really epic art shit. Or maybe I become a really great writer because I keep trying at it and eventually I move past all my consistent mistakes such as run on sentences and uh, character development and not being a shitty writer. Maybe all these pursuits mean fucking nothing. <laughs> and I've made a mistake with my life because I decided ultimately that the best thing to do was to keep trying to pursue these creative endeavors keep trying to create something out of my life that wasn't and I have no success and some of you will say well if it makes you happy but what if it doesn't what if this none of it brings me happiness the idea of security brings me happiness the idea of a consistent you know, like safe space for me to be in is what brings me joy because I am a hypochondriac. I'm in constant worry. I trust so few people. I trust so little. And, you know, events in my life have only proven to further my descent towards trusting anything because everything, as far as I'm concerned, will explode in your face. And I'm literally losing sleep over this. So at what point do I sit down and decide what the fuck to do? And what should I do at this point? Do I keep pursuing creatively things that I probably will suck at? Or do I absolutely work my ass off at this thing I hate in hopes to probably go into something that I might hate less but will pay more and attempt to secure some kind of semblance of like a joyful life and what if none of it works what if i'm predestined to fail all of this and i've wasted my time because i should have been spending that time on friends or socializing or attempting to further my network or something maybe that'll make me better you know Maybe it's because of this negative attitude that I can't get anywhere that I want to be. Maybe I'm self-destructing over nothing. How do you 
tell me. Silux the Van Bowick. What to do with my life when I don't know what to do. Maybe I should pursue something new. Maybe I should go for a new creative endeavor that takes a bit more of my time, and maybe that'll bring me happiness. Maybe the pursuit of happiness is fruitless, and it's all about the journey and the friends we make along the way. Or maybe I just fucking die in a car tomorrow, or in a car accident tomorrow, someone just fucking slams into me on my way to work, and I'm fucking dead. I don't know if that'd be so bad at this point, because I don't know what the fuck to do. But at least I can complain. <laughs> and maybe that's what I will do for the rest of my time. I'll complain. To you. Got nothing better to do.